Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Asda. Come and have a look what I got. I made it out yesterday. First time in about, well, since before Christmas Day. And I went to Asda. And I seen this was new. And uh, welcome to fabulous feasters. <laughs> Mini beef burger. Add your own sauce. And there it is, look, looking very, very plain. Used by the 14th. Heat to enjoy. Keep refrigerated. I don't know why there's a, a man on a, on a bike pulling a wheelie, but he's there anyway. Now this was new. I had to get it and see what it's like. It was one pound. One pound burger. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see what it's like. The last one I did, I think I got it. It was a chicken and beef burger and it was just... It just, it just was wrong. It was nasty. So I'm hoping that these... This is going to be better. So let's have a look at the box. So there's a, we've had a quick look at the front. Let's uh, let's go around the back. So it's all going to fall apart. Look, but never mind. We'll, it, that's just the way it is. There is some nutritional information. Two hundred and eighty-three calories. That is per one hundred grams. They are the ingredients there. Look, and we've got allergens in there. We've got wheat, sesame soya and barley and egg and 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 it sounds like when I was at school writing a story Jack and Ari uh, any more information 101 grams so basically it's yeah it's it's 280 say 280 calories just for that burger and the bread a flame grilled beef burger in a sesame seeded bun um, little GB sticker on there. I will have a little look um, for any other information in between um, shots, as you say. They are heat to eat. Remove burger from the packaging. Pop the bun in the toaster. And the patty in the microwave. Heating on full power. Rebuild your burger. Add your own sauce. So no cheese. It's a burger. It isn't a cheese burger. Heat for 60 seconds. On 800 watts stands for 30 seconds, which I will do. Mine is an 800 watt. To grill, you can grill patty on a baking tray. Cook on medium heat for six minutes, turning halfway through. So let's get this open and see what we've got. So we've got a tab system. We do like a tab system. Well, we like them when they work. Let's hope this works. So it's working. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's worked. So there is your bun. Whoa, I'm getting a whiff of it now. I'm getting a whiff of it now. I'm going to look at the ingredients in a bit more depth because I just went over them quite quickly there. Oh, did, yeah, I did go over them. I just mentioned the allergies. There's the, there's the patty lot. The burger. That's what you get. I wasn't expecting anything different, but I am getting that all familiar sort of smell that you get with these burgers. I've done a few. Whee. Right. Let's have a look at the ingredients in a bit more detail and depth. A few E numbers in there, as you can appreciate. Um, beef burger, 46%. Beef fat. I see no chicken. No chicken. So that's good. So the microwave's just pinged. It's been in for a minute on 800 watts. I've put the buns in the toaster. I've put them on the bagel setting so they'll just, if you, I didn't really know this until I got a lovely comment saying why don't you do um, your buns on the bagel setting and then you just do one side and the top side doesn't burn so that's what I've done. So thank you very much for that comment. So that's been 30 seconds, the patty has had 30 seconds to rest. I'm just waiting for my bun to pop up and I, I will get it, we'll get it assembled. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And let me know, these all suit a purpose. I've took these before to work when I've been on shifts. And they're, they're, they're a handy little snack. These and the other, the Rustlers, what, Rustlers ones as well. So it's done there. You can do it, you can, obviously you can pimp these up. It's basically a plain burger. 
I'm going to try it as a plain burger and then I'm going to stick a bit of, you know, I mean, you could stick some butter on there, couldn't you? Um, and Frenchies, mustard, um, ketchup, cheese, get some cheese out and melt that on the patty. But it's sold as it is, so I'm going to try it as it is because that's how it's sold. Um, there, there it is, look. <laughs> hey, it's just, I'll tell you what though, it's replicating what's on the box. Let's be honest. There's the box and there's your burger, look. That's the nearest I've ever got to replicating the box before. There it is, look. Very, very basic. Now, you know, you wouldn't, eat, you wouldn't eat it like this, would you? But it's sold like this, so I'm going to eat it like this. Well, I'm going to have a bite. Mmm. Very dry. But it's, it's okay though, it's working. The patty's working. The burger itself, none of this chicken malarkey in it. Um, it's, ex it's tasting as exactly as I was expecting. It's well seasoned, but it does need, it just needs a massive pimping up, it really does. It needs cheese, it needs um, sauce, it needs onions, it needs a bit of salad. Oh, I've got this uh, lovely gift. Um, Oily Hands sent me that. What a lovely gift. Thank you very much, Oily Hands. Sent me two. So we've got a bit of ketchup on there now. A bit of a bit of a slippage juice to help it go down. But some lovely cheese on there. I mean, let's be honest. I don't know. Why would you just... Unless you really just like eating plain burgers... That is the only reason I can see if you're buying it really because you just go and buy a cheeseburger, wouldn't you? You know that. At least it comes with cheese, um, and, and you know when you're when you're at work, you know you've got to say half an hour because we used to get half an hour for our dinner. You were quite limited, you know. You take a sort of a ready meal or take a packed lunch or you know a curry or a microwave pizza or something like that. I used to anyway. You know, you want something fast. You don't want to be messing around because there's massive queues, queue, you know, to get to the microwaves. Maybe only be one microwave or two microwaves in your brew cabin. And you've got to be, you've got to think fast on your feet. You know, you want to spend the maximum time sitting down, reading your paper and eating your food. And less time stood, uh, you know, a microwave preparing your food. You have to bear that, bear that in mind. Mmm. The old slippage juice gets it down. I thought he had some um, French's mustard. I haven't. I'll get a kitchen towel in a minute. Yeah, definitely needs cheese though. Like I say, just pimp it up. But it's alright, yeah, it's, there's no weird tastes with it. It's exactly what I was expecting from it. The flavour. I mean, these aren't so much, so I do apologise for talking with my mouth full. These sort of are a quick snack. The snacksters as well do them, don't they? Rustlers, feasters, they're a quick snack. I wouldn't recommend eating them on a daily basis. Once in a, a blue moon is nice. If you, you know, you, you, like I say, it's for quickness. All right, they are Frankenstein ingredients um, and they're preserved, aren't they? Let's be honest, they're in, a, they're in a, a container in a sealed packet and they last up to a month. So on the on nutritional side, they are not great. I know that, but they're out there. They're new and they're all in our supermarkets. So I have to try it. So thanks for watching. Do appreciate that. Yeah, it's not bad. It's probably a 7 out of 10. Probably a 7 out of 10. I mean, it's a pound at the end of the day. You get what you pay for. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate that. Thanks for joining the channel and joining the membership as well. Um, yes, yeah, Christmas, e uh, Christmas Eve. <laughs> New Year's Eve. Tomorrow. Wow. Is it tomorrow? What day is it today? Friday. 
Saturday. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. So this year's gone. Where's it gone? It's gone. It's gone. Like my brain. Gone, gone, gone. Anyway, let's get back here. So thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.